Welcome back to Yarn as a Second Language. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to safely wash your knitted and crocheted items in the washing machine. So I was recently asked, Princeton, can you wash knitted or crocheted items in the washing machine? And the answer is, well, yes. But there are some steps that you wanna to take to ensure that you keep your project or your, your item um, well-preserved, um, make sure it lasts for a very long time. There are certain steps that you want to take to ensure those things happen. If you made the item or if someone gave it to you, they spent a lot of time on that item and you really want to make sure it, it stays with you as long as possible. The first thing you want to do is sort your items. You want to sort your items based on color, material, and care instructions. Typically on most, if not all, um, of the packaging that your yarn comes in, they will have some care um, washing instructions and you wanna make sure you follow them pretty closely. In fact, typically when I do my um, crocheted items, I like to always just put it on the gentle cycle and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But it is very important that you check for loose threads or any type of embellishments in your project. You wanna make sure that you repair those before you put those in the washing machine. So your next item or your next step is you want to make sure you're using the right washing machine. Now, typically, most of us don't have options. You have what you have. OK, um, I have a top loader. Those seem to be a little bit more um, harsh on items than the front loaded ones. You do use a top loaded machine. Um, you definitely want to keep them on a gentle cycle. One tip that I have for you guys is you want to sometimes if your item will fit, use like a mesh laundry bag or even like a pillowcase. That was that's just going to be some added protection for your item. All right. So your wash cycle, like I said before, a lot of times um, your yarn will come with packaging that has wash instructions on them. So this premier puzzle yarn says to machine wash on cold and tumble dry. Um, we'll talk more about drying here in a second, but first let's just talk about the um, the washing. So this the you definitely want to look at the label for their recommendations. Um, I think uh, if you have a gentle cycle on your machine, I think that is best. It's still going to get your item very clean, but it's just going to take it a little easier. It's not going to beat up your item as much as um, other cycles would. So typically most um, care instructions will mention using cold water and basically this is to prevent any type of shrinkage you don't you want your project to be the same as it was before you put it in um, I do advise against using like a spin cycle um, this can stretch and sometimes damage your items so if you have the option to not do that I kind of recommend doing that um, it won't necessarily hurt it the first second or third time but through time the spin cycle may do a little bit more damage so now let's talk about detergent you want to use something that's mild okay you don't need anything that's going to be too harsh on your item if you want to get real technical about things you want to use something that um, has like a pH balanced detergent most of us when we're looking for detergent we're not looking for that um, but it is important to avoid any type of harsh chemicals. You definitely want to avoid bleach. And personally, um, I would avoid using fabric softeners. Personally, I use these, they're called soap nuts. It's all natural soap. Um, I like to use these because they are natural and they're eco-friendly. Um, they're sustainable. Uh, they're like a sustainable laundry detergent option that I have found to work really good for me. Um, they actually come from, I believe it's called a, a saponous tree, and it contains soaponin, saponin. Nikki's probably shaking her head at me right now, but she's a scientist, not me. Um, basically, it is a, a biodegradable and environmentally friendly type of soap. Um, it is also hypoallergenic. Um, that's really good for myself and my son, who suffers a little bit from eczema. Um, these things are extremely cost effective and they're, this is not sponsored by any type of soap nut company. I wish it was, um, but I'm just giving you guys my experience with them. Um, uh, you use like six of these in this little bag here and they're good for about five or six cycles. So, I mean, it just saves money over time. 
Um, they are low suds. It's a very low um, soap residue. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has low soap residue. And this makes them really suitable for like uh, your high efficiency washing machines because um, it uses it has less soap so there's less buildup um, inside your machine and also on your clothing or your item last but not least um, it does clean really well it is a gentle natural soap um, it cleans clothes it removes dirt stains odors and leaves the laundry clean um, but does not have any scent you're not going to smell anything on your clothes anyways the point of all that was not to push soap nuts, but it was just to say you want to make sure you use a gentle, like a mild detergent. So, like I said, once you get to the point where you're ready to throw your item into the um, your washer, um, if you can fit it into a mesh laundry bag or a pillowcase, that's great. You got your detergent in. The first thing you want to do is put it on a delicate or a gentle cycle. The shorter the cycle is probably going to be better. The, the less time it spends getting thrown around in water, um, the better. You, you definitely want to make sure your item still gets clean. Um, and it, it, it will. It doesn't take a whole lot of time for your clothes to get clean or, or your crocheted items to get clean. Um, but you definitely don't want to do a very long cycle. This is just going to you know, keep preserving your item and make sure you can wash it more in the future. All right, so after you get your item, it's, it's washed, it's clean, you're gonna take it out of the washer. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna just check for any type of damage that may have happened. It's better to get it um, caught now and repair it now than later. Or if you have a bunch of frayed items or stitches, that's just going to deteriorate through time. You want to make sure you check it as soon as you get out of the washer and repair it as soon as possible. So I have several items here that I have washed. I've got um, a hat here. This has been washed several times and as you can see, it looks brand new. Um, the yarn, it, it will hold up. It will hold up in the washer. You just got to take a certain care. And I've got this blanket here um we had a kid over and they thought it was fun to play with this and it got dirty because that's what kids do um i've washed it it's only been washed once but it looks perfect so if you follow these instructions there's a really good chance that you will um preserve your item and get the item clean without causing too much harm to it now drying your items um Typically, I like, I like to just air dry. That's just my personal preference. I can't recommend using a dryer. I just don't see the need for it. Just let it dry on its own. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, but typically, that's the best way to go is air drying it. When I air dry my items um, to make sure it retains its shape, I like to lay it flat on a clean towel or maybe like a drying rack. Um, and it's not so much blocking it but you're just wanting it to dry in its uh, original shape so that's why I kind of like I like to lay things as flat as possible I mean it depends on the item of course um, but just lay it and let it dry while it's drying a lot of people think you can take it outside that may work I typically like to keep it out of direct sunlight and I also like to keep it out of any type of major heat I'm not gonna take my close outside and right now is the middle of July in East Tennessee uh, between the heat and the sun it's just gonna roast the crochet crocheted item so typically I don't um, put my items outside I like to have it inside and let it just dry um, on its own if you're washing your items I just encourage you all to be patient be cautious during the process um, like I said, if you made it or somebody made an item for you, a lot of time and love and sometimes sweat <laughs> was put into this item. So you definitely want to preserve it as long as you possibly can. Um, with proper care, um, your favorite homemade items can last for many, many years. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Hit that thumbs up button. Share the video, we really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you got any questions or better yet, 
I'm certainly not the expert at this, but if you guys have your own tips on washing items, please put them in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, this is just a big old community where we can all talk about yarn. Um, and I know I'm missing a, probably a lot of different things that you guys have thought about that I haven't. So um, let, let's share all the inform information we can. But I do thank you guys for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Adios.